Yo, bloody actor here guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Kenyan Gaming Setups. This is like the fucking, I don't know, Initech. Initech number, what, five, six. <laughs> yeah, anyway, but uh, yeah, I'm here to showcase your setup. So keep your negative comments away from the comment section because I am not a tech reviewer. Now today I am over at uh, Mr. Biohazard Entertainment. I mean Biohazard Entertainment. Uh, Place. that is BHE underscore Frankenstein I think a lot of you guys know him I know him through discords he's been active in the gaming community for a while and uh, yeah so let's check his setup out so yeah guys uh, come check his setup out um, as you can see, this one is a bit on the high end uh, because this guy is a streamer. He streams a lot of Apex, FIFA and stuff. As you can see, this room is full of gaming related peripherals from microphones to the gaming chair to monitor, webcam, racing wheel. There's a PS4 in the background there. There's, like This is clearly a gamer's den. As you can see, pretty, pretty sick setup. I think this one is, I would say so far, this has to be the beefiest setup that um, we have... Um, we have encountered so far but uh yeah guys um let's check what uh let's check out what this guy is rocking here so yeah guys uh for the pc case he's choosing to go with the nzxt h510 which has uh tempered glass um i do like the white color you guys can see there inside the case we have an amd ryzen 5 5600x which is at 6 core 12 thread processor for the RAM, is choosing to, do, uh, to go with uh, two pairs of RAM kits. The first one being the T4 Delta 16 gig, um, gigabyte uh, kit. The second one being an, another 16 gigabyte kit from Ol Olo Y Baldi. Weird name. Uh, all of these RAM sticks are clocked at 3200 megahertz to bring it to a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is uh, bonkers and insane. For the GPU, he's choosing to go with the MSI RTX 3060 Ventures, which is the overclocked edition. For the SSD, he has a 1TB NVMe from uh, Western Digital, which is paired up with uh, 6 terabytes of hard drive storage. Again, pretty bonkers. All of this is mounted on an MSI B550 Mag motor, Wi-Fi motherboard. And powering the system, we have an EE and sorry, <laughs> but an EVGA 750 power supply. So yeah, man, those are the PC specs there, which stood crazy, man, real crazy. For the monitor, there he's using to go with a 165 hertz AOC C24 G2 24 inch 1080p monitor. For his second monitor, again, he's a streamer, so he needs to read the chat and all. He's just choosing to go with a regular Solarmax 60 hertz television. And they're all mounted on their own uh, original mounts. So, yeah. For the keyboard, is choosing to go with an Ola Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Um, for the mouse, he's choosing to go with the Asus ROG GT300 mouse. Um, for the mouse part, he's choosing to go with a... Um, pretty wide but not uh, long I don't know if that's how I can describe it but it's the clip tech mouse pad um, as you can see it's pretty wide but it's not like long I don't know wh wh which one is long and which one is wide I don't even know how to explain it but uh, yeah for the sound there he's choosing to go with the Maono AU MH uh, 6 uh, 601 headphones pretty long name for the mic there it's also a maono ao not ao but au pm 421 microphone uh yeah i'm i think frank mentioned this brand to me and i was like i've never even heard of them before so yeah for the internet um, he's choosing to go with a jtl package which is the 30 mbps again if you're a streamer i do recommend jtl um the upload and the download is really good i mean it's expensive but it's worth it for the total price, he said uh, this system, this whole system costed him around 183,000 um, Kenya shillings. So pretty, yeah, that's not going to lie, that is uh, kind of expensive. So, I mean, again, this system is really on the high end here. We are like really, really high on the list there in terms of um, specs. 
So yeah, Frank, uh, what do you use this setup for? I normally use this setup for gaming and streaming and for video editing for the games that I play. All right, all right. Um, did you assemble it or did you buy everything at once? Um, uh, I got uh, somebody to assemble the PC for me. It was built by Shuffle PCs. Shuffle PCs, yeah. So Shuffle PCs again. Uh, I told you guys you're going to hear from, like you're going to hear the guy a lot. So again, he's a good guy. So if you're looking for setups, that's the guy to hit up. And remember to use code two five four millennial on check on to get yourself a discount. So again, where did you get most of this stuff? Um, most of this stuff was imported by Shuffle PCs himself. And uh, for the RTX, because I think you got it. When, uh, you you got for the RTX. I think you got it when it was. Uh, Wait, where did you get the RTX? I got it uh, locally in town. There was a shop that was selling. Oh, so yeah, because I remember that the time you got the card, it was when the shortage was still there. So, yeah. And uh, what do you like about this setup, man? Um, I just like the overall build and the RGB aesthetic of the setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything you Anything you're planning to change? Mm. All right, for now, I don't think there's anything that I'm planning to change. Maybe the monitor, the second monitor, I might change it in the future. Yeah, you should probably get yourself a monitor arm um, to like clamp on the desk and you know put more to. I'm also planning to get a bigger desk that can support both monitors. Also, the desk as well. All right. All right, all right, all right, and uh, yeah, your internet. Uh, how is JTL so far serving you? You're the second person to have JTL. I've been using JTL Fiber for four months now, and I think um, the service is really good, and the customer care service is also really good. When you uh, call them, they normally respond instantly, and I've not had any internet problem with the JTL Fiber so far for the four months that I've been using it. You are you're on the that MPPS package, yeah? The five K one. All right, all right, all right. Um, um, I think uh, you guys have heard it from him. Um, again, I do like the setup. This is a clearly a streamer PC. This guy knows what he built this PC for, so I like it. The specs are okay, and uh, yeah, again for internet, always consider if you're a streamer or if you're just gaming. I'll, I'll, again, I would recommend for me in my own recommendation, I would recommend JTL and Safari commonly. I think those are like the two best. Zuku, Zuku is good, but I heard Zuku it depends with the area you're from, so. I don't know, but he was Frank was using Zuku before, so go check Frank out. I think it's uh, TTV. Nah, it's TTV forward slash BHE underscore Frank is no. Also the same as YouTube, you know. And YouTube is the same. Yeah, YouTube is BHE Frankenstein and Twitch is also BHE Frankenstein uh, for Instagram and other social platforms as well. All right, you heard it, guys. Go support him. Uh, go check his stuff out. At least make his investment worth it. So yeah, man. Um, for me, I don't think I have anything else to say other than if you want to be in the next video, make sure you comment it on the comment section. Follow me on the Discord. Remember to use code two five four millennial on checkout on shuffle PCs. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.